Then, OG Sonny Blocko, I got a story to tell you, all right? But y'all, I told you, young man, I had time for you, right? Told you I was going to pull back up on you, right? All right, so let's get it popping, right? Hey, yo, Bullet Scotty, listen, son. First of all, you right. I was in your DMs. I said that. Said I was in your DMs like, yo, son, you, you, you doing a good job. Keep it right there. I said I came to you live and told you, yo, you're doing a good job. This the shit you need to be on. The solution, not the problem. And you threw me the wrench into all that. I said, most of these cats go back maybe a year, year and a half with you. I go back maybe two, three years with you when you first popped off, right? I said all that. I also said, I like the kid, but you wild out. Now let's talk about you wilding out. No, back up. First of all, you keep talking about CK. I'm supporting CK, a rat and all that. Let's keep it G, homie. I don't know CK. I don't know Corey King. Actually, I'm not really a Corey King fan. Keep it G. But what I do respect is the work he put in. What I do respect is him being, being a founder. What I do respect is when... Everybody ain't believe it. He stood tall like your Mac a rat. OG Mac a rat. I respect all of that, but I don't know, son. Nor am I a fan of son. Talk about son all you want. You talk about anybody all you want, but when you put paperwork on a nigga, when you put paperwork on a nigga and the paperwork ain't right in the Zach, that's a whole different move, my nigga. That's what you call career ending shit, my nigga. I said a few lives ago, I mean a few podcasts ago, like, yo, we forget people are human. People human. They go make mistakes. Long as the mistakes and the dirt on their name and career ending, we can rock with them. You know what I mean? I done made some mistakes. Everybody done made some mistakes. Corey King done made some mistakes. But you tried to put some career ending shit on his name. That was all I got at you about with the Corey King situation. Why well, I called you... A bozo for is the move you did, the move you pulled. You talking about everything, my nigga, except for the move you pulled. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how a man telling you, yo, listen, I don't have no problems with you. My issues is with her son. I understand you rock with her son, but I don't have no problems with you. But if you got a problem with me, go ahead and get it off your chest. Speak your peace. Let's talk about the move you did. You searching on your phone for some porn shit. And as soon as you find it, you like, oh, word. And show the porn shit on the camera trying to get some shit locked down. Trying to get YouTube police to come lock that nigga up and all that. That was the bozo shit, my nigga. I give a fuck what you talking about. I give a fuck who you got beef with. I give a fuck about all of that. Number one. Don't put no paperwork on a nigga if it ain't right in the Zach. That's number one, right? But fuck all that. The bozo move was showing porn on a nigga platform when you know that shit could get him flagged and his shit shut down. Like I said, you wouldn't want nobody to do that to you, right? You could talk about everything except for that shit, nigga. That's why I called you a bozo, nigga. Now, since you say I be in your DMs, which ain't often, let's keep it G. Only time I ever got in your DM was, nigga, when you was talking about your uncle to tell you you was on the right page. And, you, and nigga ain't send you no motherfucking flick, nigga, or no, no, no clip of me on China Brim. I told you. Matter of fact, you was on there right before me. And then I came on there and I told you. Hey, yo, listen, son. I said this and I said that. I said respectfully, he don't need to be on no panel when they talking about G shit. Your bozo ass said, 
I understand, OG. We got receipts, right? <laughs> we got receipts, right? You said I understand, OG. I told you that, nigga, because that's the type of nigga I am. I walk it like I talk it. If I'm man enough to say it, I'm man enough to say I said it. And if the shit got misconstrued, I'm man enough to say the proper understood, to give you the proper understanding of it. And if the shit get up under your skin, I'm man enough to eat that too, nigga. It is what it is. Like I said, I ain't never been no punk, but you ain't even in my league, my age group, or my weight class, my nigga. A nigga like you, I, you already know. <laughs> and listen, say, let's get keep it G. Nobody call me OG Sonny Blocko because I done been through some G shit. I done paid my dues from North Carolina to South, I mean from New York to South Carolina. All stops in between. North Carolina. South Boston, Virginia. Minnesota. My nigga, I done made my name out here, made my bones out here, B. Win or lose. I got more W's than L's, though. I, 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 I didn't want just giving this title OG, nigga. I deserve the title OG, my nigga. You understand? But let's keep it G. All my stories you hear about, nigga, is my stories. It's shit I did, my nigga. The time you hear me talk about is the time I caught, my nigga. The beefs you hear me talk about is beefs I got into, my nigga. The blam outs and all that is blam outs I got into, my nigga. But if you pay attention, at the end of every story, I flip it and tell niggas where I fucked up at. Or either tell niggas this ain't the path you need to be on, especially my youngins. It ain't gonna get you nowhere, right, if you really paying attention. But the point is, my nigga, they mine. You ain't got no stories, nigga. Only thing we know about you is niggas running in your pocket and you talk tough. You ain't never blam nothing. You talk about all these g war niggas and you never been behind a g war, my nigga. You wouldn't make it in on any g war, on any yard, behind any g war. You would not make it. You either go be a quiet nigga, a Christian nigga, or respect to my Akis. I'm not saying nothing about my Akis. Peace. Salam alaikum to my Akis. You gonna become a Muslim or you gonna be a Maytag? Because it ain't in you. It ain't in you. Every story you hear, my nigga, is my shit. Let's talk about the shit you did. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting. Let's talk about your war stories. Instead of you jumping on everybody else's hood. Huh? Like I said, the only real ones you aligned yourself with was Devon. Shout it out, Devon Brownsville, stand up. And China from Connecticut. And when I said that, I saw the move you pulled. You went and got Devon. Huh? You went and got Devon. But see, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. I'm a Brownsville nigga, Devon a Brownsville nigga. I really don't know Devon like that. He was doing his bids and all that when I was getting busy, right? But one thing's for sure, two things for certain. A nigga could look at a nigga and tell if it's official or not, B. Like I told you, you could look in your eyes and see it ain't there, my nigga. See it ain't there, my nigga. You went and got Devon when I gave nothing but salutes and salutations to Devon. And still will. Still will give him salutes and salutations. Because all through Brownsville, when I heard a Devon name, his name is ringing bells. On laying it down, get, getting to the bag and all that. I can't talk about what happened behind the G wall because I ain't do no bids with these niggas. Like I told you, I might have done Rikers for a month. My first bid was down south. Then I did my Fed bid. Then I caught another bid. Only thing I did in New York was group home and juvie and all that. Rikers for a month. And I said Valhalla for 15 days. But really it was Valhalla for 10 days because I was waiting on an extradition. And they came on the 10th day. So all that shit you talking don't mean nothing to me, my nigga. You a stay at home, nigga, nigga. I'm like that nigga meth was in belly, nigga. State to state. Huh? State to state, nigga. I got it in, nigga. Huh? Come on, man. Don't ever compare me to you. 
Don't yeah. ever compare me to Shy 120. All respect due to Shy 120, but don't ever compare me to Shy 120. I ain't Shy and Shy ain't me. Huh? We two different type of niggas. You dig? Take it for what it is. I ain't saying nothing bad about son. But don't compare me to nobody but me, my nigga, because I'm unique. The one and only. Huh? Braco, nigga. The one and only, nigga. You heard? Fuck out of here, nigga. And I went by many, many aliases. Ask your uncles about little D, nigga. Huh? Run around Flatbush, Bedford Avenue, and ask about Wiz, nigga. Huh? Fuck out of here, nigga. You nigga don't you don't know who you fucking with, but being that I don't know who you fucking with, and being that I know that you really ain't not on that type of time, and keep it G, I'm not on I'm not even on that type of time. Especially with somebody like you. Cause I I'm I'm from the old school, nigga. If you go, if you go kick up the dust and raise hell and all that, you better do it with somebody that's worthy, nigga. You better do it with somebody that's worthy, nigga. You ain't worthy, nigga. And even, even if you was right there with me in my age group and all that, but just style, nigga, you ain't worthy, nigga. That's why I said niggas just need to smack the shit out you. You don't even deserve a fight. But since you got in your feelings and all that, let's address it. I expected you half-assed to get in your feelings. I expected that. But... Everybody want to kill the messenger instead of listening to the message. <laughs> the message was, even in my comments, go look in the comments. My son, Kahim, Kahim Allah, peace, God, said, yo, he a good kid. I said, I agree. He a good kid. But he barking up the wrong tree. <clears throat> for real, for real. You got no war stories, nigga. Mm. You haven't been the victor in any situation, nigga. You let two little dudes who I smack piss out of run down on you and all up in your pockets, nigga. Let's talk about it. Huh? Since you and your feelings, you got personal instead of listening to the message. Let's talk about it. If you look at the, 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 the shit from yesterday or the other day, I said, nigga. I told you when you in your lane, you in your lane. I told you I never called you out your name, never gave you nothing but positive criticism. And the only criticism I ever gave you was yo Gotti, stop with the tough talk. Stop with the G shit. It ain't fitting you, homie. It don't fit you. Huh? See, you one of them ones that one of them young boys that got that word real nigga fucked up. I keep telling you. Real nigga could be played plenty of ways, at least three to four ways that I know of. Number one, if you're a schoolboy and you stayed in your lane, you went to school, you got your grades and all that, you came home, you did what you were supposed to do, you're a real nigga, according to your lane. If you're a working man, you go to work, work a nine to five, you feed your family and all that, do what you're supposed to do, you're a real nigga in that lane. In the streets, when we had rules to the streets, when we had order in the streets, when we when you had to watch your conduct in the streets, same shit, my nigga. If you played by the rules, if you abided by the rules, you was a real nigga. Y'all niggas just got real nigga fucked up with the streets. You are not a street nigga. Therefore, you can't apply street real niggas to you because you not that. The best real nigga you can hope for is the schoolboy or the working nigga. It's the best you can hope for. You see, the advantage that the street nigga has over the schoolboy and the working nigga is that if he decides to end all the fuckery and become a working man or want to better his education to go to school, he could jump into that lane quick because he didn't dealt with the toughest and the roughest of the roughest. This shit is easy. He is, if he got any kind of stats up in the street, that means he was smart, he was intelligent, he was a mathematician, if he got his money up, all that good shit. He was just applying it to the wrong shit. So we could jump into your lane easy and be a real nigga in that lane. Schoolboys and working men, can't, and they never been a street nigga, can't jump into my lane or real niggas lane and survive.
or prosper. They go be the, the dunk, the dunk nigga like yourself. Yeah, you mad and upset when your feelings, you ain't listening to the message. Again, what Hassan did for you, homie. What Hassan copped you, what he bought for you. What money he gave you, what he cashed up you. Huh? Eh? What, 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 what 100 did for you, homie. You missing the message, nigga. Fuck with niggas that fuck with you. Genuinely. Not because you popping or because you got followers. Genuinely. You talking about I'm trying to get my page popping. You right. I am trying to get my page popping. But not all for you. I told you the other day, I don't even do this. This ain't even my M.O. But just so happened, nigga, you was a little nigga. I looked at like, yo, I like that little nigga. You was a little nigga besides who talks shit about you, why they talk shit about you. I'm like, yo, I like the little nigga. The nigga just need to stay off the G shit. Other than that, I like the little nigga. Mm? You talking about Harlem legend? The day I said, hey, yo, this is exactly what I said. Quote, yo, would I be wrong if I said something about the people that was on your panel? China, Bram, and Harlem. Nah, homie, go ahead. Say what you want to say. I said, yo, all respect, dude. I like the little kid. I like the kid. But he don't need to be up here talking about no G shit because his G card been pulled. We done seen he ain't no G and ain't none of them. Harlem legend said, yo, who you talking about? I said, yo, Bullet Scotty. He said, nah, nah, that's my little man. That's my G right there. That's that's. I, I told him come up here because there was some niggas that had beef with him. And I told him, yo, this is your opportunity to get at the niggas. He was holding you down, little nigga. And you talking shit about him. See, that's what fuck boys do. That's what fuck boys do. Hey, yo. Uh, once again. It's for CK. And I'm from Flatbush. Flatbush in the Ville. You understand? We ain't running the same circles and all that. You understand? I ain't I'm not saying he got it in or he didn't get busy. And he could say the same for me. I ain't hear CK name until the Damu started. Right? Back up. I think he was going by a 5% name that I, I, I think I heard that name before. Because I'm the God I lean. I lean my lot. Build, destroy a lot. Tell you I got many aliases, my nigga. You never know. <laughs> right? But what I do respect about CK is that he stood on his square. When he called out Mac as a rat and they won, they won jacking it. He stood on his square. I respect that. I respect the fact that he one of the founders that got it in. When the homies was going through behind the wall and all that. I respect that. Regardless of to what effect he got it in. Regardless of to how much he got it in. Regardless, regardless if he a predicate or not. I ain't talking about none of that. The nigga a founder. That's a fact. But here you go again trying to throw so Oh, you ain't no predicate. Nigga, you never been to nobody's G wall, nigga. Nobody's federal yard, nigga. I, you never been to the Rikers, nigga. Anybody's county jail or none of that, nigga. And you talking about who a predicate cutter and who not a predicate cutter. You talking about who real and who not real. You talking about son. Son that, um, that son Pope, that son Al Pope. That nigga was locked up before you was born, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, B? Back to when I first ran across your platform, you how you know these stories. You too young to know all these stories. Your uncles and all that. Nigga, I'm 48. B, I'll be 49 this year. I know. I know. I know the skin is, you know what I mean? I know we, we looking good and all that for my age. Niggas don't believe it. But nigga, I was out here, nigga. Nigga, you was just born 20-some years ago. Nigga, fuck you know about Poe and the niggas that son Poe and who Poe po learned from and all that, nigga. You ain't a Harlem nigga, plus you wasn't even born, nigga. And you not a street nigga, you don't get it in because names do ring bells from borough to borough, hood to hood, state to state if you one of them niggas. But you not. Hey, yo, my G, bullets got him. I ain't gonna address you no more unless you force my hand to address you again. I didn't come at you, pardon. I didn't run down on you 
because you was talking shit about CK and him being a rat and all that. I said, nigga, that paperwork you put out there, it ain't right. If the nigga a rat, come with the real paperwork. That's what I said. The reason you a bozo is because you did a bozo move by trying to put the porn on the live. You got it where son can't even show that. He can't even put that in his playlist as videos he got. It don't even be in his feed. He had to get rid of that. Come on, man. You wouldn't know. I wouldn't want nobody to violate your channel and shut your shit down like that. And I don't fuck with you. I wouldn't want nobody to violate anybody's shit like that. For whatever reason they on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube for a bag, my nigga. I do all right. I'm on YouTube because Ozone O. From Up For The Bait. When we was cool and all that. Ozone O said, hey, yo, son. Niggas listen to you. You got a lot to say. Plus, you know some shit. You might want to think about getting the page. He the one who sparked the idea. Remember on my first live? I said it was one kid who sparked the ignition, but me and son had to talk. Me and son still ain't 212, but I'm man enough to call the truth the truth. I ain't on YouTube for a bag, nigga. I'm on YouTube because niggas thought I may be able to pop off. My subscribers ain't deep. I'm 175 right now. We growing every day. But I'm going to keep giving good content, good content, and I'm going to keep giving official stories. My shit, Gotti. My shit, Gotti, not the next man shit. Huh? And I could talk about the 360 of it, because I done lived it. Nigga, you barely living. I'ma leave, leave you with this. My father told me this when I was in my 20s, maybe my 30s, and I didn't believe it. But he was right in the Zach. My father said, you go fuck up all your teen years, your 20s, you go fuck all that shit up. You go thank you grown in your 20s, but you really don't know shit. You go fuck that up. The 30s, it's going to start to come around and you think you're getting in, you go get into your lane in your 30s, your real lane, right? But you're not going to become the man that you are, the man you want to be until you, until you see and understand and live life. That's going to happen up in your 40s and all that. I'll be damned for that nigga wasn't right in his act. See, you ain't live life yet, young boy, young man. That's why I'm going to be easy on you. You ain't live life yet. You ain't experienced nothing yet. You ain't got no kids, no seeds, none of that. I don't even know if you ever worked a job, nigga, because I see you ain't no hustler. Eh? You ain't no hustler, nigga. I know niggas still spending money from 88, like Jay said. <laughs> you ain't no hustler and all that, so I don't even know if you ever had a job, my nigga. But... Get your mind right, little homie. Eh? Take it how you take it. Eh? I said that. You don't like it, you don't like it. If I was next to you, it wasn't a fucking thing you could do to me. Eh? But talk. So let's keep it there, homie. Let's talk it out. OG Sonny Blocko, I got a story to tell you. Heard? Hey, yo. Pharaoh Guns. Two Dollars. R. Revere. G. Mac. Dark Side Sad, huh? Cosmology Bay, Kung Fu Joe, Jamil Saladin, Harlem Legend, Old Fifty China Brim, I mean, El Campa and all that, huh? Little Man Rockstar, what's good, Stony, huh? You already know Big Rock shit, you heard? Mmm, Lost in Yonkers, Saint Last, Tales from the Pen and all that. Hey yo, hit that like button. Subscribe. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I mean? Great stories. You know what I mean? A little bit of entertainment for free. All I'm actually asking you is to hit the like and subscribe. You heard? Sonny Blocko, I got a story to tell. Salute, good people. Stay tuned, OG Sunny Blocko. I got a story to tell. You heard?